What's going on YouTube? We're back at it for another video. Today we're talking about how to take down the Hulk. Knowing your enemy can be everything that you need in order to make sure that some of these dives are going to be a much easier experience for you, as well as giving you the capability of increasing your overall success and survivability rate when it comes to each dive you take. But that being said, we've got a lot of things to cover, so let's get straight into it. The first thing we'll be covering is the three different ways that you can take down a Hulk. The first method is very obvious and very simple, which is just simply put going to be hitting the back weak spot that they have available on them, bright yellow bunch of vents. All you got to do is basically use that primary weapon until it blows up and then a few seconds later they'll eventually bleed out and explode themselves. Now this can be problematic as if they do end up in that bleeding scenario after you've blown up that weak spot. They can still shoot so if you'd like to make sure that they don't continue on and possibly take out some of your teammates if not yourself be sure to keep hitting that spot until it fully explodes as that's going to be the guaranteed way to finish them off right then and there without having to worry about that bleeding out phase now the second method to taking down a hulk is using support weapons to hit the front face plate where that little red line is just on the dead center of the front of every one of these hulks and we'll be detailing out which ones of these support weapons are going to be the ones that are most favorable when it comes to taking these out and which ones have the capability of actually penetrating that faceplate. Now the third method is one that you may not have known about previously as with the anatomy of each one of these hulks it will have two arms and two legs and you can blow off both of the arms but you can also blow off both of the legs and this will actually be the third way to take down any one of these hulks is if you blow off both legs well they're going to be falling over dead right there in their place. And utilizing the strategy of just blowing off one of the legs of these hulks can be extremely beneficial to gaining more survivability and more success rate at taking some of these out. And we'll be detailing out each one of the support weapons that are going to get each one of these jobs done for you. Now for the next portion of the video, we will be going through each one of the different support weapons, giving you the number of rounds it will take in order to take out its leg, take out its arm, and killing it from shooting it in that faceplate on the front. Starting off first, we've got the anti-material rifle, which is going to take nine shots to the leg in order to blow off one of those legs. It can be a hefty one, but not exactly the hardest one to hit, especially with that zoom that we have on it. So this can come in handy in those moments when you don't have direct line of sight on the front or the back of a Hulk as it may be chasing one of your teammates. But if you can land those shots on that leg, that could mean the difference between saving your teammate and giving them the capability of turning around to take down that Hulk without having to force another one of those reinforcements. Then right after that, it will take six shots to the arm in order to blow off one of those guns that they may have. And to round it all off, surprisingly, the anti-material rifle is quite good at taking down Hulks by only needing two shots to the front faceplate in order to take out that Hulk. It's quite fast, maybe a little bit difficult at times though to hit that hitbox, but if you can land it, it's worthwhile. Coming up right after that, we've got the expendable anti-tank, we've got the recoilless rifle, and we've got that of the quasar cannon. Now I'm just grouping all three of these together because they all three had the same capability when it comes to taking down a Hulk, which is simply going to go as follows. It will take one shot in order to take off its arm, one shot to take out its leg, and one shot if you hit it directly in that faceplate. Now, the big power play with this is if you're not able to get that line of sight on that faceplate, your best bet is going to hit that leg as crippling that thing is going to do you a whole lot better and do your team a whole lot better and not only slowing down that Hulk from stopping its advance to possibly get close enough to throw that flamethrower out there. But at the same time, if you're dealing with some of those other Hulks with the rockets and the laser gun, Crippling that leg can actually diminish their overall accuracy as well because they will have very slow turning radius and they don't exactly have the largest radius when it comes to swinging their arms to be able to get that accuracy. So in those moments you can truly save lives of your teammates and yourself by just nailing that thing in the leg when you don't have that direct shot to be able to one tap it from the faceplate. Coming up right after that, we've got the auto cannon, which isn't the worst option, but it's not exactly the best option when it comes down to just being able to take off the arms and the legs. But it can still be a better option than using the anti-material rifle, as it's going to take six shots in order to blow off one of its legs, it's going to take four shots to blow off one of its arms, and it's going to take two shots to that faceplate in order to take it out. Now, I don't think I'd necessarily say that it is the best thing to take out the legs, but if you are in one of those instances where you don't have line of sight on the back weak spot or the front faceplate while it's chasing down one of your teammates, you can't go wrong with taking five of those shots at the legs and being able to cripple that thing. Crippling those legs are going to be one of the best methods at saving those reinforcements. Coming up right after that, we've got the heavy machine gun, which, whew, man, this one is, uh, this one's a wild card. If you can control it, 
it can be an absolute destroyer of hulks, which funny enough, it will be able to take off the arm and the leg as well as melt it if you can hit it directly in the faceplate, which is going to be really hard with this weapon and a lot of times I'd say your best bet is to use something like a stun grenade in order to be able to even use this weapon properly against hulks because if they're just walking at you and you're trying to fire this thing, good luck, have fun. They can get it done, and I don't know how many shots, I'm going to guess about a half a magazine for basically every single one of these objectives, whether you're trying to take out its leg or its arm or even just take it down from the center faceplate, because just trying to land those shots on that center faceplate is more than likely going to take a lot of rounds to just simply put zero it in and try to land it directly in the middle as this thing will be bouncing all over the place. It's a ridiculous one to use. Not something I'd say is best in slot. Coming up right after that, we've got the Railgun, which is still going to be a powerful option when it comes to facing off with the automatons and taking down that of the Hulk. As with this weapon, while in unsafe mode, you'll be able to take three shots at its legs to take them off, two shots in order to take off one of its arms, and still, even in safe mode, you can one shot through that center faceplate. But the big thing about utilizing this weapon in unsafe mode is after you've gotten past the charging point of that of the safe mode, you'll actually be able to stagger the hulks. So in those moments when you don't have direct line of sight on that faceplate or that back weak spot and you start trying to take off that leg, as long as you're utilizing it in unsafe mode, you'll actually be able to stop some of these hulks from firing on some of your teammates in those moments when they may be chasing them down. Which when you've got one of those flamethrower hulks and you see that thing start to spit some fire and you're able to land that shot on that leg and maybe not destroy it right then and there, you'll be able to stop them from dealing damage and stop them in the tracks, making that next shot a whole lot easier for you to land as well as giving your teammate time to continue to get further away from that and get to some cover to be able to land some shots of their own back at it. The railgun is still a powerful weapon and it's definitely a very powerful weapon when utilized against that of the automatons. Coming up right after that, we've got the laser cannon, which is going to be a powerful option when it comes to facing off with the automatons. If you don't know a whole lot about this weapon or you're still kind of on the fence about it, I'll have a link down below in the description to a video that I made detailing out all the powerful attributes of how this can be an absolute melter against the automatons. So go check that out if you're looking to find some more information on that of the laser cannon. But when it comes down to taking down hulks, you will be able to blow off the arm, the leg, and... If you can land that headshot directly in that middle faceplate and sustain that fire for just a moment, you'll be able to melt through these hulks pretty quickly. But in general, the best bet at being able to take down these hulks as quickly as possible is to aim for the leg if you don't have a stun grenade. Stun grenades are going to be your best bet to be able to just throw that down, stop them in their tracks, and be able to melt them through their faceplate. But if you don't have that stun grenade available or if you don't have it in your loadout, taking out their leg is going to be your best bet to slowing them down enough to where you have the capability of being able to aim at that faceplate with ease and taking them down as quickly as possible. It's not the best weapon for taking down Hulk specifically, but when it comes down to a support weapon that has the most well-rounded effect against all enemies on the automaton side of things, it's going to be one that's going to be a deadly force to be wielded. Coming up right after that, we've got the Arc Thrower, which is a bit inconsistent, but I will say when I was using this, it wasn't something that I was able to take off legs and arms, but you can actually three-shot a Hulk. Now, in general, I was only able to three-shot the Hulk if I threw a stun grenade down and aimed for their faceplate, but it almost was a guaranteed every single time that I was able to three-shot them whenever I used the stun grenade and aimed for the faceplate. Beyond that, if I didn't have them stunned, it would be one of those moments where it would wildly arc through different portions of their body, and I wouldn't exactly get that weak spot hit every time, which is a little bit weird, but there will be times where sometimes it may just play the RNG to your favor and you may be able to get that three shot even if they are just running at you. In general, I was quite surprised by this. The arc thrower can be a powerful weapon, especially considering its unlimited ammo source. The only thing that is going to be a drawback with this weapon is the simple fact that it will not be the quickest killer, and it will be a little bit inconsistent, sometimes a whole lot inconsistent, but it still can be a quick killer of that of the Hulks, if you have stun grenades. Now, one honorable mention after that, which isn't exactly a support weapon, but the HMG emplacement can also be used to take down Hulks by shooting them in their weak spot and you will be able to blow off their arms and legs with this weapon or with this emplacement i should say it won't always survive the longest as all it takes is one rocket devastator just to blow this up and it can be really frustrating in those moments but it can be a fun time to use this and sometimes it will have pretty strong clearing power 
Now, when it comes down to the stratagems that are going to get the job done, obviously orbital laser is going to get it done. It'll melt it in just a few moments. Orbital Rail Cannon is going to be a one-shot, very easy, just toss it in its general direction, one-tapping it over. And when it comes down to the Eagle Airstrike, one of the most versatile stratagems in the entire game, and you just cannot go wrong always having this onslaught when it comes to facing off with the Automatons, as it is extremely versatile. But it will take two Eagle Airstrikes in order to take down some of those Hulks, unless you get a lucky drop that lands directly on that back weak spot of one of the Hulks. Then, it could be a one-shot. Beyond that, the only other stratagem I would use in order to take down a Hulk that can be a bit inconsistent is that of the 500 kg bomb and the big reason I say it's inconsistent is because you want the blast to actually hit the back weak spot you don't want it to hit it from the front sometimes I've had moments where it's dropped directly on top of a hulk and did not even destroy them it did do some damage but in general the best way to one shot those hulks is to have that blast radius be able to hit that back weak spot and that's when you're going to get that instant kill on them but that's going to be the conclusion right there, people. That's going to be how you kill the Hulks and make it a little bit easier for you, getting you all the information when it comes down to the support weapons and some of the stratagems that are going to be best used for specifically taking down those Hulks. And hopefully this information has helped you going into the future, especially that of taking out one of those legs. Before, I had no idea about being able to take down one of those legs, and being able to cripple them is extremely powerful. It puts them down to a snail's pace when it comes to their overall mobility. And stops them from having that extremely irritating aimbot accuracy that they have across the board with most of the automatons, giving you a little bit more survivability and capability of just outrunning some of the fire of some of those hulks, and slowing down on how many reinforcements you may burn through in some of those instances. But let me know down in the comments below what's one of your favorite ways to take down those hulks, you know. What are some of the methods you've been utilizing? If there's any other information I may have not put into this video that may be beneficial to taking down those hulks, you know, let me know down in the comments below. This is all from my own personal 400 hours experience in the game, but you never know there's some tips and tricks out there that may have just slipped through the cracks and I didn't know about. And it's always useful to poll the people out there that have been playing as well for any information that may benefit any other players. But that being said, hopefully you've enjoyed this, and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to see some of this content live, hit that link down in the description below. Follow me over at Twitch, we'll be streaming daily. And on that note, have a good one.